I just built the entire of this emergency command center under three minutes with using a new and free and open source tool, well, AI tool called Gemini CLI that brings the power of best of Gemini, which is 2.5, to your terminal that you're coding. So you no longer need to copy and paste the codes. Within the terminal, you just ask what you want and you will see in action, Gemini CLI is creating all the files and folders and codes and everything for you needed, all the way to have the app ready for you without you being hands-on. Just be there, sit down and provide your feedback. So let's get into how I built that and let's see what is the power of and usage of Gemini CLI. Several days ago, as I'm recording this video on June 25th, Google came up with a new open source AI agent called Gemini CLI that compared to other tools that let you code in terminal, it has lots of free usage that you can enjoy. So let's get into what is exactly Gemini CLI, what's the main advantage of that, and let's compare that with some similar tools and see how and when we're gonna use Gemini CLI. So as you mentioned, it is open source. We will talk about their GitHub repo. We'll go through that and how to install it. So it is using actually Gemini 2.5, which is sort of the best Google model and even the leaderboard, the best model so far as I'm recording, especially on complex tasks and coding. So you will have free usage of Gemini 2.5 Pro in your terminal for let you create codes and applications that as you know, it can get up to 1 million token context in that model. That means your entire code base, if you clone the repo or creating a, an app, whole application from scratch, that 1 million token size is really help you to have a comprehensive understanding by the model and give you best of the best in input and outputs. By this free version of Gemini CLI, you will have 60 requests per minute. And also in total, I think per day, you can have 1000 requests. So this is going to give you great amount of usage. And at the same time, if you want to go beyond that free limit, you can add your Google AI Studio API key. Or if you're using GCP and Vertex, you can also connect your Vertex, which I did, to have even unlimited usage as you wish. So this is about Gemini CLI very short. Now, the key features we discussed about the massive context window, 1 million token, which is great to analyze entire code base. It's pretty, pretty easy to install. It, it takes you maybe one, one minute. I'll show you how you install this. And it beautifully integrated with a lot of different type of terminals like VS Code, GitHub Actions for automating a lot of Git requests or Git type of action oriented tasks. You can go with Docker and it helps you also with CICD. And here I use Google Cloud Workstation, just have my terminal running and you can even use your own local laptop, launch your terminal for coding, whether it's Linux or Windows and then have Gemini CLI installed. And as I say, it's completely free for 60 requests per minute for 1000 daily requests. No credit card or payment is needed at all. All right. So for installing that, I'll actually go through the main open source GitHub repo and I'll come back to with further information about Gemini CLI. Here's the repository. As I mentioned, it's open source. You can check it out. And for quick install, you just need to actually run npx and this is the github repository link or using npm you can also install and then with just typing gemini you will see that in terminal you can chat with gemini 2.5 and let it create everything for you we should go and show you that in action here's my terminal i have only installed gemini cli with just typing gemini not only i can start chatting with gemini cli here but also with hitting enter i can have that specific portion of the terminal that launched this gemini cli and here I can just ask anything and interact with my model. So bef because I already launched Gemini CLI once before, it asked me the type of the authentication I need to do. First, if you want to use the free version, use your personal Gmail based authentication. So you click first or number one, hit enter. It will launch your personal Google authentication that you need to add your Gmail and that's it. The second option you have is Google AI Studio, if you want to have more unlimited version, you need to provide your API key as an environment variable. And the third version is uh, Vertex AI. If you click on that, which I did, which was the third option, you need to add your uh, geographical location of the project, your project ID, and that's pretty much all. You need to add these two in an environment variable to make sure it can connect to Vertex. And make sure you authenticate to your GCP using 
gcloud auth login as a terminal command line to authenticate to the vertex if you want to use vertex for authenticating to gemini cli so here i am i can now interact with my gemini cli to give you a couple of actually core commands you need to have we just typing slash you will be able to check a couple of commands that comes with gemini for example you can view the usage and performance with just doing stats if you want to uh, you know, indicate a specific file or folder or a uh, object you have under your directory you need to start with at site and then the file path or including the entire directory using this command you can also switch the models if you want but for now i'm gonna go with gemini 2.5 as it as we talk it will be really helpful for some of the github based actions like github actions automated code review issue tri triage i told you different ways that you can authenticate and also Gemini CLI can connect to MCP servers that also augment this Gemini CLI with more tools and more capabilities. Also, it has built-in web search because it is using Gemini, so this Gemini CLI can also search internet as needed when you interact with. Now, compared to some uh, similar tools, I would say from performance perspective, as you can see, Gemini CLI compared to Cloud Code, OpenAI Codex, and Cursor, which do they do something similar? I would say the main key advantage is that 1 million token that give you a large context that you can build entire code base, add it as an input to Gemini CLI. And I would say from the usage perspective, no one give you that amount of free usage compared to other ones, as you can see. And this is the only solution that is open source. Obviously, Gemini 2.5 model by itself is provided by Google. It's not an open source or open big model, but still, Gemini CLI application of that is open source. So getting back to my Gemini code assess, before we start actually creating an application that I showed you, I want to first augment Gemini CLI with some MCP servers to empower that as I need them for creating my application. So to see what actually tools Gemini CLI has access to, if I just type slash tools, you can see that by default, when you install Gemini CLI, it has all these capabilities. So it can read all the contexts and files and folders in your working directory. And I would also highlight that it can do Google search as needed. You don't need to provide anything. You don't need to provide any API. And if I do similarly for MCP, you will see that I have some connections to a couple of MCPs here. And I'm going to show you what type of MCPs that I have created. The very first MCP that I created is Zapier MCP. So just show you how I created that. Zapier, as you might know, is, is a tool to create auth uh, automation. And they recently launched MCP Zapier that let you connect your tools or AI agents to thousands of different automations and third-party services and tools. I dedicated a video just about this. It's a very powerful service. Uh, I added the link of that video to the top right of the video. Check that out. But here... I can just come to Zapier and click on create a new MCP server. What I'm going to do, I want to create an MCP server that connect my Gemini CLI to my Slack channel. So when I, when Gemini CLI create my application, I want to send the logs of when the app is started, when the app finished to the Slack channel. So you will see that how Gemini CLI is beyond just an AI coding tool. It's like a software developer that update everything, create tickets beside when it create applications for you. So here, what I'm going to do in selecting a client, you can see that Gemini CLI has been added and clicking on create, it will create you once because I did already, it appeared here. And then you can add tools. As I told you, there are thousands of different, actually 7,000 different type of apps that you can connect to. The one that I wanted to connect here is Slack. Maybe you can connect to, let's say, Gmail. When the app is ready, Gemini CLI will send an email through this MCP. So here I want to connect to Slack and here you will specify what type of Slack activities you want to enable with this MCP server. I clicked on all and then I added that. As you can see, it can do all these different type of uh, connectivity or actions to my Slack. Now I have already created my Slack channel and we will come back to this to see what type of inputs Gemini CLI will ship using this MCP server. And after you're creating this, if you click on connect, it will give you the URL of how you connect to this MCP. So I copy that, and then after copying this MCP server, you should come to your terminal, and when you install Gemini CLI, it will actually create you 
dot Gemini folder automatically. Underneath, there is a setting JSON. This is the place you need to add your MCP servers, namely. Because I'm in authenticated using Vertex AI, that's why it's already added by itself here. And also you will see that under MCP servers, the very first one that I have added is the Zapier that connects to Slack with the URL that I copied and I told you how. And of course, after recording this video, I will uh, disable this MCP server. So this is something credential, be cautious about using them. Also, I have added two more MCP servers. There's one that use image and model by Google to generate images. And the other one is VO for creating videos or using image and send the image to VO2 to two or three to create videos using AI models. Now, how I created these two MCP servers, as you can see, they're running locally on my machine right now. If I go to the ports, you will see that these two ports are running my local MCP servers. But how it did this, let me show you. This is actually another GitHub repo that Google released that let you create MCP servers for GeoMedia APIs. For example, if you want to create images or videos through MCP, you can just run this MCP server. That's what I did. So simply what you need to do, just git clone this uh, uh, repo that I did and cd to this path after cloning. And then you just need to run the MCP that you want. For example, for imaging, just type MCP image and go, and maybe you can specify the port number that you want to, or just type MCP VO go, that will launch the uh, VO MCP server. This is exactly what I did going back to my terminal. Here I have two terminals. The first one is that I created my MCP image in, that now it's running locally under this path. And also I have my MC pool for, for running a video creation model VO Go under this port. That's why I have added this port actually here for VO. Then I added three MCP servers. That's why if I go back to the terminal that I have Gemini installed, you can see that when I just, just type slash MCP, it told me, oh, I have access to Zapier MCP that can do all this. And also I have access to MCP server for creating images and videos with image and image and, and VO. All right, so let's see what is the prompt that I use for creating that emergency operation or command center. All right, here's the prompt that I use. I told Gemini CLI that you are an AI application developer. Obviously, I just wanted to be a little bit cautious about how I prompt this. Maybe it's not necessary to prompt as I'm doing that. I just asked actually Gemini to help me in redefining the prompt and then I copy paste this prompt to Gemini CLI. So technically what I asked was, I want this application to be a single panel interface and I'm gonna do, actually I wanna create an application called Etherview that is sort of a command or control dashboard center. Now I told that, hey, for creating this application, you have a couple of tools that you can use them if you need. You have image and you have video. Why I'm asking this? Because I want to create a fictionary video of drone shots of the incident happening in that command center. And I asked Gemini CLI to create them using these MCP servers and then add those videos and images you create to my web app. That's how actually it worked. And then you have a Slack MCP to ship the progress of how you're creating this application to my Slack channel as a developer. So I'm talking about some core functionalities here, how I want to have a live map, I want to have the media display. I want to have an event ticker to actually showcase live events are getting generated in that command center. So let's actually, I actually copy that. All right, here's my Gemini CLI terminal. And what I'm going to do, I have a folder named test that I want to create all this app uh, under that folder. That's why I'm adding this. And then I'm going to paste the prompt that I just show you and hit enter. So you can see that right now it is starting actually Gemini 2.5. You can see how much of the context you have used from the memory perspective or the context size of the model. And then it is breaking down the task. It might take a couple of minutes based on how complex your request is. It might ask you some follow questions and asking permissions to run some of the codes. So I'm going to start actually fast forwarding the video to show you quickly the progress and then uh, how, what's going to be the end results in action. So for give you an example, it's asking me for running this code. I'm going to say yes and hello always in PM and it's going to continue creating that and we will, can see live 
it is actually creating some files and folders for me. All right, in just a couple of minutes, it finished creating my app. It asked me some follow-up questions. There were some minor errors. I provided the feedback here. We're chatting with it and it refined all the codes here and the files has been generated as you can see. And I just asked to run my app and here it is. So this is pretty simple and high level, but I still can see that there are a couple of incidents created. For example, wildfire, if I click on it, you will see that it used those MCP servers for image and view three for creating these images and videos for fictionary scenario to play that. As you know, view three has also sounds generated on videos. It's pretty cool. Let's check out the other ones. This is a traffic collision. And obviously Gemini CLI prompt all these models to create that so you could definitely provide feedback to make them more realistic as you wish so this was all automated and chemical spill all right and you can see that there are a couple of drones some of them are available if i click on let's say the first one for chemical spill check you see that it sort of simulate it goes all the way to that incident location. So it was pretty simple. And again, very high level example. You can go back to the CLI, modify the, that application as you wish. And if you remember, I also gave access to my Slack channel through MCP to generate the logs when it was creating this app for me. So I went back to my Slack channel and when I was creating, clicking on the channel that it, I used to actually shipping all the logs, You'll see that just today when I was running that, it was telling some logs that, hey, I started creating this app, it's ready to get deployed, and now we have the UI developed as sort of the next level because I added some comments on making the UI better. And you can see that I was also testing it further prior recording this demo to see if that MCP server works, and it perfectly worked. This example was just one that you can create an app from scratch, but obviously if you want to clone a repo, you can ask him in ICLA to make changes. For example, you can ask that, hey, upgrade everything to the latest React version. It can do that for you. Or creating a GitHub issue, or creating unit tests, or fixing specific file of files under a specific directory on your whole code base, and, or creating documentations for specific folders of files or codes added in your repo. So, these are different examples of scenarios that you can use Gemini CLI. What developers are saying in open source community, first of all, they're all happy with the fact that this is the one that gives you the most free usage compared to other ones. And with that hugest or the largest amount of token window size you get compared to other tools for coding, uh, it's going to be a game changer, especially for having all code base added to the context window. It's pretty good for rapid prototyping and it's great that it always gives you the thinking, the progress as you chat within terminal. Well, still it's a progressing tool. There might be some open uh, issues and there will be less or more. So make sure it always be up to the point on the GitHub repo. And some people are specifically mentioning that that free usage uh, get finished so fast. So we can switch back to Google Air Studio API or Vertex to use unlimited. Gemini CLI in terminal. And then some people are specifying that if they're using their own laptop, there might be some CPU usage spikes. I haven't seen that because I'm using cloud. And lastly, for enterprise usage, make sure you use Google A Studio or Vertex to be a little bit more enterprise friendly compared to using just your own personal Gmail to authenticate to Gemini CLI. All right, that was all about Gemini CLI. I hope you found the video helpful. I added all the resources of this video to the video description below in the Discord channel. If you like, I would be appreciate if you like the video and share your thoughts or questions in comment sections and subscribe so you won't miss the next video. Thank you so much.